Hi guys, it's me. Um, oh god, I just realized I didn't put my blush on. Oh well. Um, I am here with um, tip number two, and it's really quick, and it's something that I keep in my um, makeup area. Actually, I keep these all over my house because there's a use for them everywhere, and you guys are probably going to roll your eyes and go, oh god, that's no tip. But, um, I find them especially useful in my makeup area, and that is wipes. These are the Kirkland brand, and I buy them by the case at Costco. And these are made with Tencel, so they're really, really soft, which is a good thing because if you want to use them on your face at all, um, that's always better. So, the tip I was going to show you today, I intentionally went too far on my eye over here. See? With my shadow. You can take one of these and just go, I'm going to try to do it in camera, just like this, and it literally, sometimes I do it on purpose with a handy wipe, or a baby wipe, because it just sharpens that, are you kidding me, I, I disconnected, I'm sorry, anyways, Sometimes you can do, sometimes I do it on purpose, like if I don't get that area sharp enough, I'll just go with a little handy wipe and just go like that. Baby wipe, I'm sorry, I keep calling them handy wipes. Anyways, that's my tip, and I also use it on my brushes sometimes if I'm doing something and I've used like my cream shadow, because I have a little, and actually I'll show you that too, because it's pretty, pretty nifty. I'll make this a two tipper, okay? Um... I use it for my, when I'm using a cream shadow, and I'll just wipe it off like that and clean my brush off. <clears throat> that way it's not soaking wet, and I can just put it right back down into my um, my little canisters that I keep my brushes in. <clears throat> but the other thing I have is, oh God, watch me not be able to find it now. I have this little thing. And the, the, those of you that have come and had a makeover with me, you've seen all of these things because um, I've kind of showed you most of the things I'm telling you. And then um, you guys can come back for an extra, um, you know, makeover thing to get some ideas for different colors of eyeshadow to use and that sort of thing. But this thing is called a color switch, okay? And inside of it is this sponge, and it's a weird sponge. I don't know what it's made out of. I think I've seen this type of sponge before, but in my memory, I can't remember where. Um, all you do is go like this, and you can have the blackest of black on here. I mean, coal black. Put this on here, and do this, and it gets it off. And then you can use, the next color is like, there's nothing, see? There's absolutely nothing left on that brush. It's completely clean. So, I love this little doodad. And I got it a long time ago, but I do believe you can find it on Amazon. And it's just amazing. I really, really love it. So, with this... And the baby wipes, you're set at your makeup table to do your makeup and not have any issues. So, that's my tip, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. And tip number three is coming up. And then I'll be caught up. And then I will see you Thursday and Friday. Okay?